Okay. Here we've got to pick our party order, like I was saying. So, we're going to start with the four people that we know we're going to be using. And that was Celeste, Locke, Sabin, and Edgar. Basically our four strongest people. You know, the same four people we've been using throughout the entire game. Now, this last battle is going to be multi-tiered. So once you beat one boss, you move on to the next. Should someone be dead during that transi transition phase, you switch... They will switch with whoever's next in line. So, say for example, Celeste dies. When we move up to the next stage, if she's still dead during the changeover, she will be removed from our party, and Terra will be added in, because I put Terra in slot number 5. So say Celeste and Locke were dead during that transition phase. Terra and Gao will be switched into those two slots. So doing this, you can actually kind of set up a team that you can use against each different layer, should you call it, to make your way up to beating the game. However, it's not really that important. We're going to try and do it with just Celeste, Locke, Sabin, and Edgar. But should anybody fall, I'm going to want to try and keep my uh, stronger people in my next set. So let's just put Cyan at the very end, and hopefully we never come to needing him. Alright. Kind of understand how that works. Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully you get the gist of it. Anyways, let's for starters, I'm going to have you cast Golem. Yes, I actually went back, because I screwed this up, so I gave people a bit different things. You can start by casting Kieran. You actually are going to start by casting Re-Raise on everybody and working your way down, so that way we won't have to worry about dying. And you... Oh, right, you can't even summon magic, so it don't matter. Um, let's start with... Do you know... Shell 2? Shella? Shella, Shella? No. Okay, well, we're not going to have... You know what? Yeah, let's start. We'll cast Shell on everybody. We'll just do it the slower way. I think you can help out with Shell as... Oh, actually, you know what? Just cast Haystega right now. You can cast Shell on the last person. Uh, actually, I guess Sabin's still going to need Shell. And then we'll just work our way down. Casting our final shell. This will give everyone full statuses. And now we can go on with attacking the enemy. We'll just start with... We're all floating, so let's just start with Quake. Because that does pretty good damage. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. I said shell. And then... Quake. Because Quake is pretty good, and it targets multiple people. Then we can take them out. Right? Sabin now can start attacking with whatever you want. Um, personally, I'm going to be using his air, whatever you want to call it, because, well... I don't remember who's got re-raise. Uh... You shouldn't. And I think the only person that I'll need it left is Sabin. I can't remember if I cast it on Celeste or not, but whatever. We'll get to that when we get to it. Okay, Quake, and we'll flare the guy up at top, just to make sure that everyone is still getting hit. Yeah, and the reason I'm going Airblade here is because although it's not dealing as much damage as, say, the Bum Rush, right? You'll see Bum Rush is pretty much going to be dealing tons of damage. It is, however, hitting all enemies, so together the damage kind of adds up to being slightly better. Kind of like why I'm casting Quake over just a bunch of flares. Alright, re-raise Sabin, and that should be everybody. Alright, you also heard that little... <sighs> that, like, breaking sound it means one of the enemies here has died. Though you can't really tell which one, because... You can't really see... They don't change at all. You notice they don't move, they don't do much of anything. They just... die. And this is pretty much how I'm going to be going up to the top of the tower. Blasting everyone with flare, 
Should any of these uh, statuses wear off, I can recast them. Regen is actually really good to have here, because you notice we're getting quite a lot of magic back as it goes. Um, I've also, when I went back and switched up, I also regave him his Kappa gear, so I'm going to Kappa him and then have him start jumping. Not really something that was overly necessary, but I just like the extra little damage that having the Kappa on the Kappa gear gives me. Just one of my little quirks. Or I can just beat the first layer and move on up anyways. Yeah, and this is what I meant by the transition areas. We beat the one enemy group, now we're moving on to the second one. This is where, should any of my party members have been dead, incapacitated, unconscious, whatever you want to call it in your version, they require the phoenix down or raised to come back to life, they would have been switched out and replaced with whoever was next in line. So let's try this again. Uh, Kappa yourself. And you go back to just hitting everyone with everything you got. Yes, I know that they have... I don't even know if Quake's going to work on any of them. Let's find out. Alright, and Kappa works, so I can start jumping away. Right, yeah, and this time we got four targets. Still nothing really that we need to worry about. Yeah, let's switch it up. We'll use a uh, bum rush. Now, I say I like using Airblade because it hits multiple targets and that damage adds up to more than what would be should there have just been one target hit. This works when there's still like four people. If you only had two people, I wouldn't really worry about it that much. Now, on top of that, remember that it is better to have three people at full health hitting you, as opposed to four people at half health, right? The quicker you can take one guy out so there are fewer enemies, the better. And looks like Quake's not going to be of any use from here on out because... As you just saw, it healed the guy on the bottom and everyone else was just, well, immune to it because they're higher up. Kind of makes sense because we're not really on the ground anymore, so everyone should technically be floating. I just, I wanted to check and see. Yeah, Delta attack. You bastards. Alright, well, Medicine you. Guess we're gonna have to give her all her status effects back, too. That kinda sucks. I don't think we'll have to replace Re-Raise, though. I think that one should stay. At least I'm hoping it will stay, because if it doesn't, that really sucks, because I've now Kappa'd my, uh... Kappa'd my Edgar, and he's the one that knows it. Not that I'm too worried about dying, though, so... Right, let's start with haste on you. Have you just jump again. What can you cast? You can give her shell. And she can give herself... Protect. And where's regen? You have to know regen somewhere. Should that be in white magic? Yes! Now she's not getting her haste. Curse you! Oh well, she got the shell, and that's the one that counts. Alright, back into the air with you. Protect, and I guess I don't really need to worry about float, levitate, because I'm not really worrying about casting Quake anymore, so that's not too necessary. Right? The only reason you want to have levitate on is because you're trying to uh, protect yourself from Quake, but if the enemies aren't going to be getting hurt by it, I'm not going to be worrying about casting it on them. 
Oh, and there are still three of you alive. Damn! Ah, stupid Delta attack. Now I gotta worry about healing Savin as well. One, two, ah, zero, three. Eight. Huh. Wait, no, four. Four, five. I kind of lost count. I stopped paying attention. That was either four or five attacks that guy did to me that didn't end up hitting out of his ten. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Blocked half his attacks. Not that they're really that powerful, but, you know, taking ten attacks can... At 200 damage, that's still 2,000 damage. Spread out between everyone, that still kind of hurts. You're done? Cool, I wonder if that was actually the auto-death that finished him off. Alright, and we'll give you Shell and Regen. While we've got the enemy here, still kind of weak, now that there's only the one of them, this is when we can really start making sure that we've got all our specials back up again. Alright, you got haste on you, because Locke's gonna give it to you so you can give haste to her, and then all you need is another protect. Alright, so we'll just cure everybody, and then give you your last protect. And that should be it. Everyone should be fully healed up, and, uh... Actually, you know what? This guy's totally gonna die. Yep. Which means they're not getting those spells. Crud. Oh well. What do you do, right? What do you do? On to the next area. You guys are kind of annoying, but... Hey, we're moving through pretty quickly. Pretty quickly, we're already at the top of the tower. Look at this, this little... This weird tree thing has already reached its peak. Now we just got these two guys left. Huh. I wonder what happened to Kefka. He run away and hide? We're too good for him? Oh, shit, this is gonna hurt. Wait, no, we're immune to fire. Ha ha! And yes! Nope. Nope, we did lose our re-raise. So we'll use raise on him, and then... Kappa to get rid of that. You... Might want to heal Locke while we're here. You can haste everybody again. And you can start re-raising everybody. Because I'm not going to start slowly hitting him right now, because I know that... <sighs> Alright, you guys are getting really annoying. I'm going to use one of these... Whoa, whoa. Yeah, one of these, just to make sure we're all fully healed, and then we're going to start going from here. You just start pounding away. Magic... Alright, you guys are going to be the ones that are going to be healing and doing all this sort of stuff. Alright, I guess I'm not going to be capping you either, because you're going to be slowly healing everybody. A raise on her. Alright, this is where it starts to get a bit difficult, because you got to start paying attention to what everyone has and how you're keeping them alive. On the bright side, we've at least still got two good magic deal dealers, right? We've got both Sabin and Celeste. As long as we can keep Celeste alive and we can keep hitting with our dual flare. All right, re-raise on her now that she's been brought back. And flare, flare. Give another death blow. Right? They might be curing for 9,999, but we're also hitting for 9,999. 
heal everybody. Alright, and this is basically going to be it. This is my pattern. i got two healers down here and two damage dealers. Alright, re-raise, Sabin. I think Locke might still need it, but... I'm going to start making sure everyone's still got the regen on it. I don't want to cast it too many times. So we'll go on from here. You know what, we'll go this, just to make sure that people stay cured, and we'll give a flare. I guess the downside here, like the big downside, is that because we can't control Sabin fully, we've still got to worry that... Actually, you know what? Just give an attack. We're good for now. New can jump. Nope, nope, nope. Make sure that everyone actually has re-raise. Give one back to Locke. Yeah, the problem with this set here is because of their fully heal... Well, not fully heal, but their max heal white wind, because Sabin can't control which one he hits, you honestly have no idea which one he's going to. So for all you know, he could hit the first one and then hit the other guy, and that's 9,999 damage on both of them, and then they just balance it out by curing it up. Why can't he cast magic? Huh. Wait, are we also silenced? Yes, we are. Oh my god, it doesn't even say we're silenced. This is stupid. Alright, let's quickly get rid of some of these status effects. Because I need to start healing. And I need Edgar to do that healing. Come on. Oh, you can't because he's asleep. God damn, this is gonna hurt. On the bright side, I think ev both of them should be coming back. Yes, and I can double cure. You can heal up yourself, and you guys can heal yourself up as well, you bastards. No! No, no, no! Oh my god, that's seriously not cool. Okay, new plan. As soon as I get Edgar back, Celeste is basically going to become my permanent healer. Just because she can drop two heals around. These other guys... Yes, okay, he's down. Alright, so now we don't have to worry about it as much. Whew, that's not so bad. Ugh. My god, these guys get kind of annoying. And by kind of, I mean really. And he's back. And we've been trained. Medicine on Edgar. Yes, keep hitting that back guy. Okay, good, he's dead. Come on, need your magic. You serious? You're seriously doing that to me. Alright, well, let's use our other Mega Elixir to keep those three alive. <sighs> you can use some medicine to give her her abilities back. This is... Uh, I'm not liking this right now. This is not going my way at all. Use Raise on him, and then immediately cure everybody. You can just hit. Hit, hit, hit. Try and get rid of him as soon as possible. You bring yourself back to being able to cast magic again, because then I have you as a healer. You re-raise yourself, and hopefully you don't die before that, and you keep curing everybody. 
Come on, we can do this. Oh yes, she does have re-raise. Okay, that's not too bad. Anyways, on to the last battle. This is going to be the hardest one of them all. Well, depending on how you fared against the last set there, yeah, Kefka, Kefka. Uh, what can I say about Kefka? Well, uh, how how to put this? How to put this? How many of you played Final Fantasy VII? Does this seem familiar at all? Yes, he has two wings, but honestly... Life, dreams, hopes... Where do they come from and where are they going? These things... I am going to destroy! Alright, time for the battle. Let's do this. Alright. Give yourself the abilities again. Give yourself abilities again. And you get those cures out there. As fast as possible. Because yes, he will bring you down. He will knock you down to one health instantly. This is what he does. Right? And you cannot protect yourself from that. And from here on, yes, Celeste is basically going to be straight up my healer. I want haste on everybody, because I want to be hitting as much as possible. So let's get that out there. Protect and Shell, as good as they are, aren't going to be that useful here. Get that haste back in. Try and get some regens on people, because if you can keep them to... Keep them from taking damage where they can heal themselves, then you're better off than if you were just trying to constantly heal them all the time over and over again. Yeah, you've also got to worry about that. Remember when we were uncursing the cursed shield as well? You know how I said pick up all those elixirs, that is the best place to do it? Well, it's time to put those into effect. Son of a bitch! I totally just brought her back to life, and you had to go and kill her again. Let's drop a regen on her. Not that it's really gonna help, because he's just gonna kill her again in one hit. But see if we can get another re-raise on her. Chaos is past, the end draws near. Okay, so I don't really need to keep everyone cured right now, so let's just get those last regens out there. Regen, regen, not that it really ha matters if he's really killing everyone in one hit, but I still like to be on the safe side as much as possible. You... Uh, drop him. Drop a heal. Drop a heal. Magic, I don't know who's got re-raise, who doesn't, so I'm gonna put one on Sabin. That's pretty much what this is going to be. I'm fairly low level for coming into this, so it's going to be very, very defensive. And by defensive, I mean I've got as many people as possible trying to heal myself while Sabin blasts out the damage that he can blast out while hitting. I don't know who else needs a shell. Maybe I can put one on you. Honestly, I guess I probably should have put a protect on her. You can just attack, because i got nothing else for you to do right now. Everyone's doing pretty good. Ha! Huh, in your face! I guess it would have been good if Celeste knew re-raise, but... Oh well. We do what we can with what we've got. And I didn't really want to spend much time grinding. I could have brought Realm in, but... Honestly, this is more Celeste's battle than Realms. And give yourself a Protect. Yeah, 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 you give yourself head. Your head. Use your head. Hold that head. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. 
Ready for another big hit, though. So make sure, whenever you see that, make sure that you are cured up. Uh, I guess I should elixir you before you completely run out of magic. And this is it, guys. Pretty much from here on out, we've just got to keep fighting him until we kill him. Shouldn't take too long. Isn't that how it works? Now that we're alive and I'm like, alright, everything's set up, we just fight, that's always when they die? Seriously. Even against the last boss, that's how it happens. Seriously. Well, that's it. Bit more difficult for a final boss, but nothing we can't handle. As I said, either Kefka is going to be your hardest boss, if he's just going to keep killing everyone in one hit, if he used that attack that brings everyone down to one HP a lot, he could have been a bit more difficult. Lucky for us, he didn't.